Hello there and welcome to the new video on some of the topics, some of the general topics that I'm taking related to the data analyst. So on my video, my previously published video, I got one comment about uh, that there are a lot of concepts in data analyst job role, uh, Python R statistics, which concepts to learn for data analyst role. So data analyst role, as you all know, it is, it is a role which basically requires you to learn uh, multiple tools and have some background into these uh, statistics or mathematics just so that you can do the number crunching. You can understand the data and you can do the number crunching. So here what I'm giving you is my perspective. I have just organized my thoughts about what are all the things that you need to do to basically become a, uh, a data analyst, a successful data analyst. And that is completely based on my experience. Uh, if you have uh, any comments or any more suggestions, just write that in the comments and uh, hopefully we'll converse about that. So what I basically collected is based on the experience, the first of all, I will show you the entire list about, uh, about the things that we need to do or one need to do to become a data analyst. And then we will see that uh, with the combination, is this something, everything you need to know? Or I will tell you if, if you have some sort of a combination, even with that, you can get uh, success in your career in the as a data analyst. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what are the list of topics that one should know. So here is the toolkit of data analyst. And the first thing is the basic statistics. And I will explore this in a little bit more detail about within the basic statistics, what are the topics that you need to know. Then we have is the Excel spreadsheets. Absolutely need to know, irrespective of in whatever role you are or whatever programming or the advanced role you are, still you will have to deal with these spreadsheets. Then you have the presentation. A good presentation skills are absolutely required. And what I have written is the MS PowerPoint or the Google Slide or any other presentation software uh, that you are using. But mostly it's, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint is the one which has been used a lot. Uh, then you have the SQL or SQL, the structured query language. Very, very important for the data analyst. And I'll show you in mix and match in the next slide as to what can be some of those combinations that you need to know. If not the entire list, then what are those combinations that, that you should know? Uh, then you have some BI tools, like you can pick up anyone which is So for basic statistics, basically sum, count, min, that is minimum, maximum, how to find maximum, how to find mean or average, how to find median value, how to find mode, uh, quartiles, percentiles, and uh, you have standard deviation, and finally the correlation and regression. So these are some of these topics that you absolutely need to know, have a good understanding on as to what are all of these what, these topics and how to apply that in the, uh, in the uh, whenever you are doing data analysis. For example, I'll give you one example when people get slightly wrong in terms of applying the aggregation function. So for ex most of the time, if you have seen my previous video or if you have done any of the analysis, you will see that sales is the very common type of the analysis that basically I use or anybody else use for their videos or for their tutorials. Now within the sales, you have the sum of sales, you have profit, you have discount. So in case of a discount, what you should do is you, you can't use sum over there because discount is not the quantity that needs to be aggregated by sum, but needs to be aggregated by mean or average. So this is the kind of understanding one should have that what type of aggregation it is, first of all, within the basic statistics and when to use it, right? Especially uh, another example is mean and median. Mean, median and mode is basically another example that you can say where if you have 
lot of outliers in your data set that means lot of very high value or low value then in that case you cannot use a normal average or mean but what you should use is the median so that type of basic understanding is absolutely required to be to base to do the uh, right and the effective data analysis similarly down there if you see i have the standard deviation uh, the correlation which basically shows the variability into the data or how two variables are related to each other for example the the sales is basically increasing based on more discount that you are giving so that basically comes here in the correlation so these type of interaction between the variables is something you need to know by by having a good understanding of these topics and regression or the basic regression i would say an understanding is required because a lot of time the expectation from the data analyst is to produce a basic model just to have some baseline number or just to have uh, a, a quick forecasting numbers out uh, from the existing data that we are having for example how many calls that we are having every day in past one month based on that the next week volume if you need to predict you can very easily do it with the help of regression same is in the case of sales or same is in the case of uh, uh, if you are having any other industry like uh, hiring or something else so all of this is something what you need to know and their applicability in in a scenario in which it needs to be applied now moving on to the spreadsheet well you need to know the aggregation functions again all of these aggregation functions are like this one you have sum function count min max and you will find these aggregation function in in every bi tool and programming right so sum count mean min max all of this is present in the excel so you need to know that uh and then after that what you need to know is data cleaning for example if you have any duplicate value if you have any missing value or you are not getting the data in the required format then what type of cleaning steps that you need to do this is something an important topic uh many times been asked in the interview as well from a beginner's perspective at least that how would you remove the duplicate value or if there is a missing value what would you do will you going to exclude it or you will preserve it or what kind of treatment that you will do then you have uh, the filtering there are different ways in which you can do the data filtering so uh, so having a good good understanding of filtering will go in a long way when you will actually do the work then you have the sorting sorting of information is also very important to basically understand who are your let's say top sales customer tip top sales orders or bottom sales order so ascending and descending is basically two different things that you basically do in the data sorting after that what you have is the pivot tables commonly used i mean in any analysis you will see many many times it's been used just to have a quick aggregation of all the values that you are having for dimensions and measures or the categorical value for example showing the country by sales so country is your categorical value sales is your measure value so those type of things very easily you can do it pivot because it provides you uh, the placement in the rows columns or filtering in just one quick scenario so if you already know you 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 are aware what i'm talking about but if you are not aware about this and you are a beginner then this is a topic that you should get an expertise on uh then you have charts uh, because data visualization is a very common thing so what type of chart needs to be created in what type of scenario is very very important i mean you can create charts i have seen that anyone can create a chart after a basic understanding but what they don't know is in which situation they are according to that situation what type of chart is required so that's something you need to know when when you are learning this you have lookup function again you will when you will do the data analysis you will encounter it using it many many times to bring the data from another sheet or another workbook all together using the v lookups or h lookups um then you have some basic macros is something at the end i would say you need to know so that uh, if if you are at a beginner level then these basic macros will going to have or help you to get the seat so that you can explain okay i have done the automation or i have done uh you know all these repeated steps automation easily in my in my work whether it's a demo work or work in the previous organization so this is what i feel within the excel uh, one should really know uh, to to do the data analysis work let's move on to the presentation so in the presentation mainly i have three things you need to know the design 
like what type of design that you need to create uh, flow of information how the flow especially in case of the business uh, presentation you need to know uh, you need to have a top down approach or you need to have sort of a categorical design approach or what side what type of flow of information that you that you are having and then some creative charts for example with the combination of two different value or two different shapes or things like those creative charts still i would say is is less applicable in a scenario but if you know it or if you have it in your portfolio that you can showcase it to the uh, to the end to to your interviewer it will actually going to make a lot of impact that person does not only know only know about the traditional chart but he has gone ahead and he or she has gone ahead and uh, and created a completely new chart based on the scenario in which the person is so think talk uh, basically search about uh, what type of creative charts or flow of information i am i'm trying to giving you the pointers as to what you should know so that you get you you have an successful career or you have an effective conversation in your interview as well if you are if you are planning to attend one after that uh, what do i okay color setting is 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 the last one so color setting is uh, is basically come into the design where uh, where you basically decide uh, what type of color setting that you are doing my recommendation do not ever go beyond three colors um and uh, this this basically creates sort of an imbalance in a presentation and if your company is having their own standard template then you will have uh, the color recommendation or all the color codes with you but even in that my recommendation has always been or personally what i do is i never try to go beyond three colors because that creates a lot of lot of confusion and interpretation issues okay after that uh, what we have is the sql and within the sql what i want you to know is the select query almost 99.99% of the time within the data analysis you will be using the select query so understanding of select query because it's it's a huge conce concept uh, within the select query you have different types of keywords within the select queries or you have different types of settings that you need to do in a select query so if you have a great command over the select query you will be able to uh, at least crack the interview or able to perform your duties very well i have seen or I, during interviews that i have taken i have seen that many people do not have a very great understanding of the different clauses within the within the sql select query and many times because they do do not have this uh, or they did not have this basic understanding i rejected them so in in scenarios uh, uh where we have the select query where the select query needs to be created if you are aware about that and showcase your skills i think you can basically impress others especially uh, when you are a beginner after that the bi tools that we need to have is the tableau power bi and click now the bi tools is having like i said earlier is similar type of functions that you have in the excel so whatever you have done in the basic statistics you can basically apply it over here in one of those tools if you go with my recommendation because i have worked in all the three tools i as you can see on my blog i have done i have started the blogging with click uh, back in 2013 i believe uh, then some blogging on the uh, power bi that i am doing right now and on tableau i have started doing the blogging somewhere around 2018 or so i have based on my experience on all of these three different tools the tableau what i feel is the most user friendly from my perspective that one can start with if you do not have any background so because the main reason is it's user friendliness uh, the interface interface that they have designed and the huge community support and the you know support from Uh, you know bloggers like me who have done a lot of free tutorials you don't really have to spend a lot of money as well also you will find the quality tutorial uh, to to basically do the learning also the learning curve what i feel in case of tableau is very high when i personally experienced it uh, in case of click and power bi no wonder they are great tools no wonder about it but you need to have slightly more technical mindset to learn the both of these tools that's the reason 
I am recommending based on my personal uh, uh, personal experiences. If you are a beginner, I think you should start with Tableau. You will have a great experience learning the data visualization. Also, all of those things which we are talking about here and here, you can very easily do it in these tools, especially Tableau, uh, where in all of these three tools, they have all of these capabilities even beyond uh, to do whatever we want to do on the data analysis. Um, finally, I want to talk about uh, just Python pandas as to uh, we have the different type of uh, things or based on my experience, what mainly you should know is the data, data import, the aggregation, visualization, cleaning and join. I think data import and cleaning, so data import should be your first step. After that, data cleaning should be second. Joining should be third if you need to join. After that, if aggregation or anything you need to do. And finally, the visualization. I think that's what I have written over there and nothing much. Yeah. So these are basically the five steps that you need to do. You can basically do all of these steps even here as well. So the, the only thing is here, the interface has been provided. Here you need to do everything by writing a code. So data import, why I'm saying data import is important is because there are many techniques uh, when, when you will, let's say, even try to import a spreadsheet file. There are various different ways in which you can modify your data import based on the needs. For example, if you have, let's say, 500,000 rows and you are facing a difficulty, then you can basically configure your data import in such a way that you are getting the information in the batches and, and things like those. Also, in, in case of aggregation and visualization, the pandas has this capability, even though in Python you have uh, for, for visualization, you have the different library altogether. Even for aggregation, you have pandas, which is based on the NumPy library. But I'm not suggesting those libraries and all, because what I'm suggesting here is based on the bigness. So for beginner perspective, if you know this, you will be all good to actually sit in an interview. And if you know it very well, then you are able to tell all of those things very confidently. Now let's talk about, um, do really one have to know all these things or there can be some combinations as well. So here for me, I will say that uh, I will do three, combi three or four combination at the max. First thing is these three combination where you know the basic statistics, Excel and the presentation. That's basically a very, very beginner level analyst uh, that who do not have any understanding of the BI tool and who do not have any understanding of Python or SQL. That means he's the person who is ex who is having expertise on Excel and presentation. And trust me, if you know it really well and you have some portfolio with you, there there is there will be no stopping of you where you which is blocking you to get an get an interview or get a you know a job a very well paid job in the uh, in the organization but the whole thing is you should have an not a beginner level understanding but an expertise in these three now let's talk about if if you do not have expertise in these three but you know excel slightly well you have a, a good understanding of basic statistics but you know the BI tools along with the SQL. So our another grouping is that SQL, BI tool, Excel and basic statistics. If you know this, what I have seen is generally even I, when I look at the candidate or candidate resumes, then these are the things if somebody is aware and fully aware where we can present the scenario based question and they can answer nothing like it. Then uh, what we focus more on, we focus less on Excel part uh, but on the basic statistics and the uh, SQL and any of this tool, we focus more and basically try to get an answer and try to get an understanding how much person really understand both from uh, having an understanding of the information, how it can be visualized and finally how it can be interpreted. So these three things. Then the third thing which I will tell you is, uh, is basically the Python, uh, any of this BI tool and your statistics. Excel, I'm saying that you have a very, very beginner level. I mean, uh, if you are fetching a data or if you are opening the Excel and have basic understanding of this, not having a very high expertise, that's okay. But just a working understanding of it, but a strong understanding of any of this BI tool like Tableau or and the Python pandas. This is what I feel has become 
I believe, at least from my perspective, a deadly combination where person knows one BI tool, uh, very, very good. Uh, Python Panda is very, very good and the good understanding of statistics. That is something a very good profile, at least from today's point of view, where you can basically, uh, you know, showcase your skills based on the work that you have done over here and uh, impress the interview by your answers uh, based on the level of expertise that you are having. So these are the three, two or three different groupings I wanted to just uh, show you that based on how much time you have, your level of skill set, the technical skill set level that you are having, your interest level that you are having, you can basically decide for yourself as to what you can do or what you want to do with your career. But I have told you from all of my perspective, what I have seen, I understand and I look at it. So these are all my opinion. So if you have any question, let me know in the comments. Uh, if anything you want to improve, also put there in the comment that this is something you are telling slightly incorrect or this is this is not 100% true. Yes, completely agree. Not whatever what I'm saying is may not be 100% true in 100% of the scenario because for every person scenario may be different. So this is all what I'm sh showing you and what I'm telling you is based on my experience and what I feel how industry or how many different companies are hiring even including my experience and my friend's experience as to what they look at. So my whole objective is that you know about this and uh, you get the good job and even company gets the uh, good candidates so that they have the skill set available easily for doing the work. So that's mainly I wanted to show. Let me know how did you find this video and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic. Thank you.